Hospitals need medical supplies right now. Masks, gloves, gowns, and a whole lot more. Meanwhile, a lot of dentists' offices are closed and have those items standing by. 13 on your side's Elena Holland tells us how dentists are putting those items to good use. Hillary Teen heard from a friend at Spectrum Health about the need for supplies like masks, gloves, and more. And just the thought of them lacking any sort of supplies in a community that um, honestly is pretty well off. Um, it was heartbreaking to hear that. Teen is a practice consultant at Prevere Practice Management that works with dentists around the area. So there's a ton of PPE that's sitting on shelves, boxes of masks, boxes of gloves that's not being used. Dr. Mark Jessen is one of those dentists. His office has been closed for more than a week and has no need for these items right now. Teen reached out to Jessen and other dentists and put together a donation drive Saturday. They set up a drop-off location outside Advanced Oral Surgery Center. Honestly, it was better than I expected. Um, I figured dentists would contribute, but the amount of support that we received, not just from dentists, but the whole community, was outstanding. Teen said the response was overwhelming. They had estheticians, spas, construction workers, painters, and more drop off unused supplies. And we amassed a ton of PPE equipment. We got close to 180,000 gloves, um, close to 16,000 masks, tons of gallons of disinfectants and sterilization wipes. But Justin said dentists can do even more to help at this time. The dental offices have 3D printers in them, and they're currently sitting on shelves not being used. He said he's talking with the CDC and waiting on plans to 3D print test kits and masks. And when that happens, they could be making hundreds a day. And for teen, she hopes people understand how the dental community is doing what it can to help support their colleagues in the medical field during this time. Honestly, it brought me to tears when Jerry Kesnick, Dr. Jerry Kesnick and her team came to come pick up the supplies because they were in tears, saying that so many lives are going to be saved because of the, the support that they received. In Grand Rapids, Elena Holland, 13 on your side.